seen me making lots and lots of backgrounds using my stencil lift and stencil kind of simultaneous technique so I've got lots and lots of bits to use up now I'm going to turn this into a long coiled journal I've made a start here I got this a while ago in a craft shop and I wanted to do a journal that will wrap round and I can then make it as long as I want to. I can just keep going. You could do it round anything. You could do it round a um, piece of wooden doweling. This is the inside tube of a um, baker's twine, but that's a nice kind of solid tube. That painted up would also make a great center for a coil journal. And then you can resize. So you can do this to any size. It's a great stash buster as well. So I'm going to use the bits of um, collage images I've got lying around. These are some um, butterfly downloads I got from Etsy. This is a collage sheet I've put together of little houses, also on Etsy. This little catalogue has literally just dropped through my letterbox, but there's some really nice little cups on there, so I might cut those out and add them. You can use any stamps from your collection, any stamps at all, and I've dug out some kind of matching ink pads. I'm going to start by looking for interesting bits in the print, bits I like the look of, and I'm going to tear them in pieces so that they are roughly the right size to fit around my reel. Eventually when I've pieced all of mine together I'm going to stitch it and maybe staple it, quite like the look of industrial staples against a, a bright background, but to start with I'm just going to tear some pieces so I can start putting it together. there's an awful lot more to go on there. I'm now going to use some of these off cuts, these tiny little scraps that I've got left. There's still some of it. I'll tell you, as it's quite translucent, it makes a nice layer on top of other things. So I'm just going to cut a little bit out here. And I'm going to add that with some gel media. Do you it will hold it in place, but it will allow the other colours underneath to shine through. There, you can see the pattern underneath. I've got some collage pieces now, just roughly put where I want them. And I've also I've added a little bit more of the deli paper. I'm going to put that underneath the layer here. So I'm not going to stick those down just yet because I want to do some stamping on the background. I've picked out some of these collage style stamps um, from Carabel Studio. Now you can use any background stamps really, we're just adding a little bit of pattern and texture. And now for contrast I'm going to add some jet black. I'm going to add some highlights with my white pen. I might do some doodles, just I might go around the outline of some of my shapes. At this point, if you feel it needs any more colour, you can go on on a top layer with um, distress crayons, oil pastels, neo colours, gelatos, anything like that. A bit more depth of colour. I'm 
going to use some matte medium now to put my collage images in place. Make some really good collage glue, especially if you get a layer underneath, put your image on and a layer on the top, it kind of seals it in completely. And they'll stay nice and flat as we roll it up. Got all of my collage images stuck down now so let me show you how this is looking so far there's still some work to do I added my quotes it says start here because that will be right on the on the outside then I've got a few others fly high with the butterfly don't let anyone hold you down right here, which looks like the beginning, but will actually be the inside of the Coigal Journal. It says the end. So I'll need to be patient, leave it to dry. Now I'm almost finished. So when it's dry, I'm going to add some stitching. I need to add some kind of ribbon as a fastener so I can tie it round the reel. And then we'll be good to go. Thank you. 